So we've just uh, been looking into these uh, Spanish uh, sugar beet trials and we've come across a yellow patch uh, which we've had a debate about and it's classic beet yellows virus spread primarily by the peach potato aphid Mises persicae but also can be spread by uh, aphis fabi, the black bean aphid. Now what's particularly unusual about it is that uh, the Spanish are saying they haven't seen uh, much, if any, of this in this part of the world before. Uh, and I believe from what we're seeing in the patch uh, that it's obviously been spread by aphids before Christmas uh, as the patch is probably 10, 20 metres wide and developing all the time. What's particularly concerning, as we know about this virus in the UK, is that uh, once it gets into the plant and starts to affect uh, the physiology of it, it's capable of decreasing yields by up to 50%. Now they don't use seed treatments in Spain, in this particular part of Spain, but we've heard this morning that uh, that will probably change uh, next year. Uh, but in the UK situation, uh, we've been using the seed treatment since 1994, uh, and this has really had a major impact on decreasing the implications and impact of virus yellows in the UK to limit these diseases, as you can see today, with these classic yellow symptoms, the reddening, uh, which uh, uh, ultimately, as I said, will uh, take yield by uh, up to 50%, decreasing the root weight as well as sugar content, uh, and also it affects uh, the impurities, particularly amino nitrogen. So uh, it would be interesting if we see any more. We'll keep an eye on it uh, and now look for some aphids to see if we can find some of the culprits that spread this earlier in the year.